So here I am today in Wickenburg, Arizona, kind of a strange little spot. I looked up the Wickenburg Pioneer Cemetery and I came into this neighborhood and had a hell of a time finding it. And it really is literally five graves, five graves and really difficult to find. I, there were a couple signs and I drove right past it and there was like this little walkway up a hill and it's almost like coming into someone's backyard. It's literally like between two homes over here, which is really strange. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at this odd little cemetery. Here's the grave of Henry Wickenburg. You'll have to forgive me because the wind is blowing a little strong. Henry Wickenburg was the founder, obviously, of the town of Wickenburg. Born November 21st, 1819, died May 14th, 1905. Here he is. I'm assuming these are his family or friends. A lot of these folks died in the early 1900s, 1902, 1905. And the last grave here, as I said, look, someone's backyard right there, very strange. W. Weiss, 1846, 1907. And that's it, that is the extent of the Wickenburg Pioneer Cemetery. Very odd. There are a bunch of hawks circling overhead. Oh my god, like a ton. <laughs> Here's like 20 more flying our way. Wow. I didn't know they flew in flocks like that. It's flocking crazy. Here's a little bit of info about the man. Henry Wickenburg Pioneer Cemetery, 1902 to 1928. Town founder, 1863. I'm assuming the 1902 to 1928 is when the cemetery was actually in use until they moved it to a larger location. He was the discoverer of the famous Vulture Mine, member of the Seventh Territorial Legislature. I wanna check out the Vulture Mine one of these days. I think that would be really cool. Friends buried with him, Henry Cowell, first mayor, Lydia Cowell, James C. Todd, James Chase, member of the Walker Party, William Wise. This property is listed on the National Register of Historic Places by the United States Department of the Interior. This is one of the strangest little cemeteries I've ever seen in my life. But pretty interesting. Very fitting for a town like this. There's a little path up to the cemetery, literally in between houses. Very strange. These are a common sight in Arizona, the saggy boob cowboys. It's really them crossing their arms, but it looks like saggy boobs, doesn't it? All right, now as the sun sets, I want to show you one of the creepiest little parks I've ever come across. This is really strange. It's like something from Sleepy Hollow. kind of cool, but kind of creepy. Probably a whole heck of a lot safer than the ones in big cities like Phoenix. I mean, I don't see any homeless people here. I don't see anybody shooting up under the trees. So you're probably a lot better off coming to a slightly spooky one in Wickenburg, like this one. Let's see what we have here. Looks like something from Avengers. Whoa, the power rock. I feel like if I had a tech deck, I'd be playing with it in here. Whoa. And what's kind of interesting is it has all these different workout stations. So you can get ripped while you're running from the Headless Horseman. 
There's another one, a seated curl station. A strange little park. It'd be crazy if this park was built around the Pioneer Cemetery. That would be pretty cool. Well, there's not very much more to see here except for creepy trees and bird poop. But this is a good time to talk about something that's been on my mind. Um, by the time I release this video, it will be April 2021. And I have some goals. I know it's not, not like the new year or anything like that, making resolutions, but it is a new month. And uh, there's some things I want to do. Um, I haven't written in a very long time. And I used to be an avid writer. And that's something I want to get back into. So my goal is to do three screenplay pages every day of April. I know three pages sounds like a lot, but when you're doing it in script format, it's actually a lot of blank space. It's actually a lot easier. It's a lot quicker than a, uh, you know, writing a page of a novel. So that's my goal. I'm gonna try to stick to it. If I do even one page a day, I'll be happy, but three I think is a cool kind of higher bar to set for myself. Uh, fitness, as you can tell, out of shape. I really wanna get back into shape. I wanna start working out again cleaning up the diet and cutting out the booze. And I think those are all connected to my health, clearly. So I'm gonna start doing that and hopefully that'll give me more free time also that I would normally be spending, you know, eating or drinking and focusing on projects like this. You know, instead of going to the bar, it's like, hey, let's take a drive and let's go explore a weird place and vlog it. So I wanna just extend this invitation to you guys, to the Unfazed crew, and to any new people watching, try something different this month, you know? It's like, it's never too late to make a change, whether it be fitness, whether it be a creative goal, whatever, fill in the blank, do it, now's the time. I'm gonna be doing it, so if you guys would like to join me, feel free to comment below on what your goals are, and uh, let's make it happen. What a strange, strange little park. Poison ivy. Don't rub your cock on it. I wonder how many Wickenburg kids have poked their eyes out on this thing. Hopefully not too many, but probably a few. Ooh, Easter basket? Alright guys, so that concludes my walk around the creepy, weird, Wickenburg, Sleepy Hollow park. But as always, like, subscribe, and most importantly, remain unfazed. Bye.